day two. Wonderful sleep at the Clarion Hotel. Now it's time for a breakfast of champions. Behind me, uh, going east to west, is Trans Canada Highway. Beautiful day for a walk, not got far to go today. Uh, we're going to keep heading east until we get downtown. And that'll be my second stop on this uh, 30 kilometer journey. So join me, see what we can do today. I don't know the difference between a creek and a brook or a stream. So here's a body of water. It's amazing how you find those little pockets of nature on the Trans-Canada Highway. When you drive past, you don't see them. Although the um, hotel coffee was pretty good, I really can't beat McDonald's. Rumour has it that uh, Tim Hortons used to own this recipe. Tim Hortons being the Canadian coffee shop that's everywhere. Um, and McDonald's ended up buying the recipe and uh, in my opinion won out because Tim Horton's coffee right now is the so enjoying a McDonald's coffee is, is really the best economy coffee in Winnipeg it's decaffeinated but what can you do and a giant wasp has just landed on this one so he enjoys it as well cheers Trans-Canada not overly busy this morning. Oh, for crying out loud. I've made it to Vimy Ridge Park. My dad would have loved it here. There's a lot of war memorials to do with Vimy Ridge in World War II, of course. But there's a distinct change in the atmosphere now. A lot of hobos, a lot of vagrants, a lot of 
sort of weirdos hanging around in the bushes and half asleep on the floor talking to themselves. So the closer I get to downtown on the Trans Canada Highway, uh, the weirder it's getting. So uh, let's see how much further we can get without getting accosted. The Trans Canada bears right here. So I'm going to be turning down Broadway. You can see downtown in the distance there, that's uh, if I was to continue down Portage. But I'm not going to fork off down there, I'm going to fork off to the right. Okay, we're heading down Broadway. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. It's Tara's Shevchenko, not mine. I wonder what I'd do if it suddenly started moving. What's this? Beginner sculpting. Now these statues represent the famous five. Do you know her? Do you know her? Do you know her? Or her? How about her? Or him? Uh, he's uh, spelled that wrong. So I've made it downtown, still on Broadway, but I'm in like the business side of Broadway. It's not very busy today because it's Saturday, but I'm sure at lunchtime on a weekday there'd be all sorts of suits milling about here, getting their coffee and eating their lunch. Not far to go now. Highway 1 now makes a hard right at the railway station. I've come right to the end of Broadway and really it's come to how far I'm walking today, I'm not going much further. Um, I've reached downtown. I'm at the Union Station. Behind that is the Forks. Anybody that's uh, lived in Winnipeg or visited Winnipeg has probably gone to the Forks. Um, I don't need to show you much footage of that, even if I decide to go there, which I probably w will. But there's a bar that's just off the beaten track. I pass it every day when I go to work, and I'm going to give it a try. It's probably Mank, but I can cross it off my list of... Ooh, that looks interesting. Um, and then I'm going to sort of make my way to the hotel for uh, tonight's stop and uh, rest my feet and maybe get another drink. Okay, this is where I want to try. It's called The Wood Tavern. Let's venture into the wood on the side of the hotel. I'm going to venture into the wood. I'm in St Boniface now, which is the French Quarter town, so being a British person, I don't even know whether they're going to let me in or whether they will accept my kind around here. We shall see. I've driven past this sculpture a hundred times. 
I actually like it. Reminds me of a mermaid. Behold the forks. Street, Winnipeg. Can't get more Canadian than that. Canadian flag whipping in the breeze and the Museum of Human Rights or something in the background. That's like this elevator's for us and us That's right. Swanky view of uh, downtown while we do it. Awesome. Wow. I'm excited to hear you on the patio. 